So hello fellow Earthlings. This is Earthling 645546-3728. And I wanted to talk about the purge and how it was real. But before I go into that, as usual, I'll talk a bit about myself. I'm an ex army reservist. Um traveled quite a lot on my own dime from uh, Paris, France, to Louvre, Eiffel Tower, to Caracas, Venezuela, to Seoul, South Korea. We've seen the Grand Canyon in the U.S., which is really majestic. I've gained and lost 85 pounds, and I've kept it off for about five years. I got a four-year tuition scholarship. And that enabled me to get a computer science degree and an MBA eventually. And I take care of my demented uncle. So anyway, that's me. And uh, I was looking at a video recently. And they were talking about sundown towns in America. And the fact that for African Americans in the U.S., they it was in their best interest to leave these towns before sundown every night um, because if they didn't um, they were liable to lose everything up to their lives even if they worked in these towns during the daytime because um, things could get as bad as they being lynched even if they were in a residence or something. The fact of the matter is that people could and might break into a place where they were staying overnight and take them out and lynch them. And it was funny because when I thought about it, I it rang a bell in my head, which was, that sounds like the movie The Purge. And I've known about these towns. I've heard about them before. I think many people might have heard about these towns. The thing about it is, though, that when the the movie The Purge came out, I have seen The Purge 1, I've seen the other Purge movies, and, of course, you know, they come around Halloween. And I, I don't want to say that I thought of that they were a novel idea, but definitely, in those movies, it was never presented or suggested that these things, um, this actual enactment of a, a certain reality, had ever been played out in real life. And, but, you know, listening to it, maybe because... Halloween was recent. There, there wasn't any recent Purge movie as far as I know this year. But it suddenly hit me that this was an example of a possible Purge occurring every single night for any African American who had the misfortune of finding himself uh, in a town like this, close to sundown. And it just, it's crazy. It is honestly quite crazy that the plot of such a, a heavy movie could have been a reality. Because... I mean, there's certain things you just don't think about on a regular basis. And uh, one of those might be uh, the um, the Jews being killed and the concentration camps and all of that. And I suppose, yeah, just genocides in general. We just, they don't come up in your regular thought. And it's just interesting that this thing that, you know, most horror movies, I suppose they have some, what you would call, um, 
a grain of truth, a kernel of something that's real in the movie that you would say, okay, well, that's the genesis of how that movie could have come about. So, for example, with respect to zombie movies, I was just thinking in my head because I was looking at um, listening to um, this book called The Extended Phenotype, and they were talking about how parasites can control your brains, well, the brains of animals. That's one part of it. And the whole idea that the genes in the in the parasite can control the host to an extent where if they're in a bee, they might cause the bee to dive into water. And as a result, the parasite can, can continue its life cycle in the water um, because it's convinced the bee to drown itself in water or an ant or a caterpillar or a mouse um, the parasite that wants to continue its life cycle in another host would encourage um, the the mouse to show itself to a cat and be eaten so that the parasite can continue in the cat's system and I thought about rabies where a rabid human being might very well bite another human being and spread rabies that way and that is something of the zombie movies um, the person wouldn't die and then be reanimated but rabies is clearly a, a very close um, situation a, um, similarity then um, to the zombie movies um, especially the ones where you know the zombies are very animated of course, um, in this scenario that I'm thinking of, it is just really mind-blowing to realize that this is exactly what The Purge was like in the movie. It's, it's not a, a genesis. It's the exact thing. Maybe the uh, ostensible purpose is different where in the purge movies the idea is that um, people are purged um, by getting rid of this um, I guess violence in their soul so by in a, um, acting out on it you'd get rid of it which of course makes no sense um, and in reality the idea is that I guess somehow African Americans being in a town after sundown, sundown somehow despoils the town and makes it less than what it's supposed to be makes it less pure so yeah there's that but um it's just crazy to realize um that it's an almost an exact thing and furthermore that nobody ever addresses it in the movie that's kind of weird but also understandable anyway like dislike comment subscribe uh, any and all of those things feel free um, just like if this was something that you made peace